Today we mourn the loss of some of the brightest stars from the entertainment world. From iconic actors to legendary musicians, their legacies will forever be etched in our hearts and memories. In this video, we'll delve into the lives and contributions of seven big stars who bid farewell to this world on March 30th, 2024. Through their stories, we'll celebrate their remarkable achievements, reflect on their impact, and cherish the moments they shared with us. So, why should you stick around till the end? Because each of these individuals has left an indelible mark on the world, and by learning about their lives, we pay homage to their enduring influence and honor their extraordinary talents. Without further ado, let's embark on this journey of remembrance and tribute. Welcome everyone to our channel, Celebrities Who Died Today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things related to the stars we've loved and lost. Let's remember them together. Number 1. Emilio Laura Tamayo Emilio Laura Tamayo was a distinguished Spanish physicist and academic whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the scientific community. Born on November 5, 1950, in Madrid, Emilio was the son of Manuel Laura Tamayo, a prominent figure during the Francois dictatorship. Emilio's passion for science was evident early on, leading him to earn a degree in physical sciences in 1972 and a Ph.D. from the Complutense University of Madrid in 1977. His career was as brilliant as it was varied. He worked at the Spanish National Research Council CSIC, particularly devoted to microelectronics. He was a professor at the Autonomous University of Barcelona and served as a rector for Menéndez Peleo International University and the Universidad Camilo Zecela. Emilio's leadership skills shone when he served as the president of the CSIC twice, from 2003 to 2004 and from 2012 to 2017. His tenure was marked by significant challenges and achievements, including his role in the aftermath of the 2002 Prestige oil spill, where he led the Scientific Advisory Committee. Despite facing criticism, such as the controversial dismissal of the director of the Estación Biológica de Donana and his statements on the brain drain in Spain, Emilio's commitment to science never wavered. He was also a visiting professor at the University of California, Berkeley, showcasing his international influence. Emilio Laura Tomeo's legacy is not just in his scientific endeavors but also in his dedication to fostering research and innovation. His passing on March 29, 2024, at the age of 73, has left a void in the hearts of many who admired and respected him. As we reflect on his life, we are reminded of the power of perseverance, the importance of scientific inquiry, and the impact one individual can have on the world. Emilio Laura Tamayo's story is one of inspiration, a testament to a life dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and the betterment of society. Number 2. Louis Gossett Jr. Louis Gossett Jr. was an iconic figure in the world of acting, whose life story is as remarkable as the characters he portrayed. Louis Gossett Jr. was born on May 27, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, Louis Gossett Jr stepped into the limelight at the tender age of 17. His Broadway debut in Take a Giant Step was just the beginning of a storied career that would see him break barriers and win hearts. Gossett's talent shone brightly in the critically acclaimed play A Raisin in the Sun and continued to captivate audiences in films like The Landlord and The Deep, but it was his role as gunnery sergeant Emil Foley in An Officer and a Gentleman that earned him an Academy Award making him the first African-American to win the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. His Emmy-winning performance in the groundbreaking miniseries Roots further cemented his legacy as a versatile and powerful actor. Throughout his career, Gossett continued to take on roles that challenged stereotypes and inspired generations. Off-screen, Gossett was a man of dignity and grace. He stood alongside Nelson Mandela in the fight against racism and used his platform to advocate for equality and justice. Sadly, on March 29, 2024, at the age of 87, Louis Gossett Jr. passed away in Santa Monica, California. The world lost not just an extraordinary actor but a man who embodied the spirit of perseverance and humanity. As we remember Louis Gossett Jr., let us celebrate the path he paved for future artists and the indelible mark he left on the world of entertainment and beyond. Number 3. Simeon D. Cagno Abrecia 
Simeon di Cagno Brescia was a remarkable figure whose life journey has left an indelible mark on the city of Bari and beyond. Born on April 1, 1944, in Palo del Col, Italy, Simeon di Cagno Brescia was a man of vision and determination. He pursued a degree in law at the University of Bari, which laid the foundation for his future endeavors. As an entrepreneur, he ventured into the real estate and tourism sectors, showcasing his business acumen. But it was his political career that he is most remembered for. In 1995, he was elected as the mayor of Bari, a role he held with great responsibility and passion until 2004. During his tenure, Bari saw significant growth and development. His leadership was characterized by a forward-thinking approach, always aiming to improve the lives of his constituents. After his time as mayor, Simeon di Cagno of Brescia continued to serve the public as a member of the Chamber of Deputies with Forza Italia. He was re-elected in 2008 with the People of Freedom, demonstrating the trust and respect he had earned from the people. In 2018, he was appointed as the president of the Apulian Aqueduct by the Apulian Regional Council, a testament to his ongoing commitment to public service. Tragically, on March 29, 2024, just three days shy of his 80th birthday, Simeon di Cagno Brescia passed away in Bari. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy continues to inspire. As we remember Simeon di Cagno Brescia, we reflect on a life well lived, dedicated to service and filled with accomplishments that have shaped the course of history in Bari and Italy. Number 4. Jerry Conway Musician Jerry Conway was a legendary musician, from humble beginnings to rocking the world's biggest stages, Jerry's story is one of passion, rhythm, and resilience. Born on September 11, 1947, in Kings Lynn, Norfolk, England, Jerry Conway discovered his love for music at an early age. As a teenager, he played drums in various school bands, honing his craft and dreaming of bigger things. In the late 60s, Jerry joined the band Eclection collaborating with fellow musicians like Sandy Denny of Fairport Convention fame. His rhythmic prowess caught the attention of the music world. Soon after, he became part of Fotheringay, where he played alongside future Fairporters like Jerry Donahue and Trevor Lucas. The 70s marked Jerry's ascent. He joined Cat Stevens' backing band, touring and recording with the iconic singer-songwriter. Songs like Teaser and The Fire Cat and Catch Bull at Four resonated with audiences worldwide, and Jerry's drumming provided the heartbeat of Stephen's music. Jerry's journey continued with Jethro Tull during the 80s. He lent his rhythmic magic to albums like The Broadsword and The Beast and the Grammy-winning Crest of a Knave. His drumsticks danced across the skins, infusing Tull's progressive rock with energy and precision. But it was with Fairport Convention that Jerry found his musical home. Joining in 1998, he remained their steadfast drummer for 24 years. His percussion skills elevated Fairport's sound, whether on classics like Sloth or newer tracks from their studio albums. Sadly, Jerry Conway left us on March 29, 2024, after battling motor neuron disease MND. His legacy lives on through the beats he crafted, the rhythms that stirred hearts, and the memories etched in music history. Number 5. Jules Ajudia. Jules Ratankoima Ajotia was a prominent Surinamese politician. From his early days to his impactful career, let's explore the legacy of this remarkable individual. Jules Ajodia was born on January 27, 1945, in the Wanaka district of Suriname. His upbringing was marked by resilience and determination. Growing up in a dynamic political landscape, he developed a passion for public service. Ajodia's journey into politics began in the late 1980s. He joined the Progressive Reform Party and quickly made his mark. From 1988 to 1990, he served as the Minister of Justice and Police, advocating for justice, security and social welfare. Ajodia's most significant role came during his tenure as Vice President of Suriname. Let's explore these pivotal moments. From September 16, 1991 to September 15, 1996, Ajodia held the position of Vice President. During this period, he worked tirelessly to promote economic stability, education, and healthcare. His commitment to the nation left an indelible mark. Ajodia's second term as Vice President began on August 12, 
2000 and concluded on August 12, 2005. His leadership focused on bridging divides, fostering international relations, and championing sustainable development. On March 29, 2024, Jules Ajodia passed away at the Saint. Vincentius Hospital in Paramaribo, Suriname, at the age of 79, his legacy lives on, inspiring future generations to serve their communities with integrity and dedication. Jules A. Jodhia's life exemplifies resilience, commitment, and unwavering service. As we honor his memory, let us reflect on the impact one individual can make in shaping a nation's destiny. Number 6. Esther Coopersmith Esther Coopersmith was a woman who left an indelible mark on the world. From small town beginnings to international diplomacy, Esther's journey is one of inspiration and resilience. Esther Lipson was born on January 18, 1930, in Des Moines, Iowa. Her parents were Jewish immigrants, her father, a cattle dealer from Moldova, and her mother, a homemaker from Romania. Esther's passion for politics ignited it at age eight when she listened to President Franklin D. Roosevelt's fireside chats on the radio. After high school, Esther studied at the University of Denver and later at the University of Wisconsin. She joined the Young Democrats of America, where her political journey truly began. In 1952, Esther chaired an event for presidential hopeful Estes Kefauver. Despite Kefauver's popularity, he lost the Democratic nomination to Adlai Stevenson II. Undeterred, Esther organized Young Democrat campaign clubs to support Stevenson. Her life took a turn when she met real estate developer Jack Coopersmith. They married in 1954, and Esther's influence expanded. She hosted barbecues for President Lyndon B. Johnson's family and served on Johnson's White House staff. Esther's interests extended beyond domestic politics. During the Camp David Accords, she hosted a party for news media. But titles didn't define her power whether official or not, she was a diplomatic force. In 1979, she represented the U.S. at the United Nations during President Jimmy Carter's administration. Ronald Reagan sent her to the U.N. Commission on the Status of Women and a 1985 conference in Nairobi. Later, under President Bill Clinton, she observed UNESCO and became a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador in 2009. Esther Coopersmith's legacy is one of tireless advocacy. She raised millions for Democratic candidates, including a young Joe Biden, her belief in him meant the world. On March 26, 2024, Esther Lipson Cooper Smith passed away at the age of 94. Her impact on diplomacy, equality, and bridge building lives on. As we honor Esther's memory, let's remember her as a beacon of hope, a woman who turned small town dreams into global change. Number 7. Richard Phelan. Richard Phelan was a man who left an indelible mark on history. From championing reproductive rights to navigating the complex world of politics, let's explore the journey of this extraordinary individual. Richard Alexander Phelan was born on March 10, 1938, in Ellenville, New York. His upbringing was modest, but his determination knew no bounds. As a young man, he pursued a legal career, eventually becoming a millionaire attorney based in Winnetka, Illinois. In 1988, Phelan found himself thrust into the national spotlight. Appointed as special outside counsel, he investigated ethics violations against U.S. Speaker of the House Jim Wright. Despite the pressure, Phelan remained steadfast in his pursuit of justice. In 1990, Richard Phelan assumed the role of Cook County Board President. His tenure was marked by bold decisions. Using his executive powers, he restored access to abortion services at the county hospital, a move met with both praise and controversy. As a devout Catholic, Phelan's stance was unwavering every woman in this country has a legal right to an abortion. Phelan's legacy extended beyond policy. He championed reproductive rights, even when faced with criticism from the Catholic Church. His unwavering commitment to leveling the playing field resonates to this day. In 1994, he ran for the governor's office but fell short. Yet, his impact endured. On March 30, 2024, Richard Dick Phelan passed away peacefully in his sleep at the age of 86. Metastatic cancer claimed his life, but his courage and advocacy live on. His family remembers him as a trailblazer who fought for what he believed in. 
Richard Phelan's story reminds us that change begins with one person's unwavering resolve. As we honor his memory, let's continue the fight for justice, compassion, and equality. As we come to the end of our tribute, we hope you've found solace and inspiration in the lives of these remarkable individuals. Today, we've celebrated their achievements, cherished their memories, and honored their legacies. Join us in keeping their spirits alive by sharing their stories, music, and movies with friends and loved ones. Let's ensure that their impact continues to resonate for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey of remembrance. Remember to subscribe to our channel, Celebrities Who Died Today, to stay connected and informed about the lives and legacies of the stars we've loved and lost. Until next time, may their light continue to shine brightly in our hearts. Farewell, and may they rest in eternal peace.